welcome back to my channel i'm becky and if you're new here then welcome and thank you so much for clicking on today's video we are going to be doing three different craft ideas that will be great for halloween and they are going to be super easy and cheap to make but look lovely in your house to really add that spooky season spirit so without further ado grab yourself a drink and let's get on with today's video We're going to do three different crafts. So the first one is going to be a Halloween themed gonk. So you know like the little gnomes that you get at Christmas? I've got a really easy way to make them for yourself at home for more than like half the price of what you'd be able to get them in the shops. Um, then we're going to be doing like a Halloween themed garland. And then finally we're going to be doing some spooky little ghosts. I'll list everything that you need and it was all in my previous video and um, it was like my Hobbycraft and Amazon haul so I'll link that down below so you can watch that so you know what to get and I've listed all the prices for everything in there as well. I've actually already started this because we're making a few different crafts in this video I didn't just want it to be like a 20 minute long video of me just making one of the items so this is the start of the gonk so for this craft you're going to need some different colored yarn if you wanted to do this for just like autumn decoration i've also got some other different colors i've got this lovely like beige and burnt orange so that could also be really nice because it could go with like more of your like autumn decorations like the ones that I've got behind me there. So you're gonna need three colours though. So I've got two colours because I wanted a stripy hat and then you're gonna need like a white or a grey for you know like the long beard. And then you are also going to need some of these little wooden beads. So I got these from Amazon. This was a 200 pack. I can't remember how much it was, but it is in that other video, that Amazon and Hobby Craft haul video. Um, so they were really good price, and that's obviously just gonna form like the little nails of the gong. You're also gonna need an empty toilet roll holder um, because that's gonna form this little base for you to form your hat round. What you're gonna wanna start doing is with your different coloured yarn, you want to just cut some long lengths of it and they all want to be the same length just to unravel it so i'm going to go for about this long about 30 centimeters i'd say and you're just going to want to cut probably around about 30 30 strands maybe a bit more you can always make some more as you go along and it doesn't matter if they're not the exact length as each other because you can trim them down at the end anyway and then what you want to do is fold it in half like this so you've got the loop at the top and these dangly, bin, ugh, dangly bits i can't speak dangly bits at the bottom um, and then you're just gonna get the hoop part Thread it through the middle of your toilet roll holder. Get these end bits. Go through the loop and bring it down. So part of my nails. So you've got your loop of thread here. You're gonna put that through the middle. Thread your two bits through that, like so. And then you're gonna make sure that this bit, the loop, is at the bottom. You're just gonna pull and tighten it. There you go. Just gonna keep doing that until you've got the whole bit of the toilet roll covered in the yarn. So this is probably the most time consuming part. But if you're like me, you'll probably actually find this quite therapeutic. There's something about crafting and I honestly can just get absolutely lost in it. I don't worry about everything else, I'm just focusing on this. And I think that's why I love it so much because it's just a really nice outlet. You know, just to get away from anything. And I like that 
you're doing something with your hands and you can see like the product at the end of it I just find great pride in seeing what I've made and it doesn't hurt that you're saving some money by doing it as well instead of buying them Alright so as you can see that is absolutely covered now you've got all this dangling at the ends so what you want to do is just twist and push it through so it goes on the other end like this as you'll just see me do we've pushed it through so we've got a lovely little like rim of like your beanie hat there and then we're just gonna tie this so I'm gonna go in with some orange string and you want a good amount for where the hat will be so I'm going to probably tie just around there I've probably got a bit too much excess but that's okay because I'll show you what we can do with the waist because I uh, don't want to waste anything here I'm gonna go round myself again just to make sure that it's really tight because I don't want it coming loose right so now we've got that I'm just going to stuff it so I have some bits from earlier that I was trimming off of a different decoration so when we trim these bits off I'm just going to push it all in there because then you're not having any white colour popping through it's all going to match your hat colour because if we stuffed it with some like white cotton buds or tissue roll you'd be able to tell and then we're just going to trim off the ends of this because then that's going to make your pom pom on top like so and then we're just going to push all that into the hat so we've got a nice big hat right so I've got my hat there and then super easy we're going to make the beard so I'm going to have a white beard I think or do I want a grey beard what are we thinking grey or white super easy we're just going to make like a loop so you're just going to wrap it around your hand would he it's going to start barking you want a good amount because you want a nice thick beard so just keep wrapping it'll probably feel like you're going to start losing circulation in your fingers <coughs> oh i think you can see my reflection in the window <coughs> but we do right because i've got a really thick hat i want to make sure that i've got enough so i've tied quite a bit of yarn around my hands there and then all I'm going to do is just cut that end slide it off your hand so you've got your hole in the middle don't lose that and then with a piece of the white yarn we're just going to wrap it around the middle so I like to go through and then I'll go round like this now if you want a longer beard wrap it round a bigger piece so the wider your pieces that you wrap it round the bigger your piece will end up being then just going to tie this off I am rushing this um, because I am trying to keep this video as short as possible because we are going to be doing multiple crafts but obviously you can make it look a lot nicer than this and then with your sharp scissors you're just going to cut through all those loops there and hopefully we should have a nice thick bushy beard so I might have needed a bit of a longer beard because my hat's quite big note to self make your hat a bit smaller so that's what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to undo, so now that I can tell how big my beard is and this is what I mean, you can see I've never done this before but I'm also, it's quite good because I'm also showing you that it doesn't matter if you've not crafted before or you've not made this craft before because it's really easy to amend I'm going to cut that off that I tied the hat with I'm just going to redo it, put a bit lower down I'll get that orange string back 
I mean, I don't think I'd make it on like professional TV crafting like this, but you know, it's all just for a bit of fun. And we're just trying to see how things are going to turn out, aren't we? She says unconvincingly. Pull through all your little bits. There we go. Lovely. Now I'm just going to trim that down a little bit again because I want it to be a bit of a tighter pom pom on top. Now I'm going to take some of this stuffing out that I did put in earlier because we want the top bit of our beard to sit in there. Right, so you can start seeing it's taking shape there. Got his beard. So you can either glue gun it to make sure it's secure, but my glue gun isn't working at the moment. And if you don't have one, then I want to make this accessible for you guys to do as well. So it can just sit in there. And then what you want to do is stick your little nose on. Yeah, so I've got these value glue dots from Hobbycraft. They just come on a roll like this. I just stuck it onto the back of the nose and it's actually attached really well onto the arm. And then if you just want to make him look a bit more put together, you can just trim his beard. I don't think I'd make it as a barber. I'm really happy with how that looks and you can tell it's for Halloween. And there you've got a 20 minute little gonk for Halloween. I'll show you up close. So do you know what? He's going to be perfect. Just sat perched in between my little pumpkins there. Love him. He's going to come. But yeah, so we had a few ups and downs to say the least um, as we were making it. But that's what happens when you're crafting and a lot of the time you just got to adapt it because everyone knows Pinterest versus reality. Um, but that, by the end of it, was really easy to make, really effective and like I said, so much cheaper than when you're buying it in the shop. So I'm just going to give Woody a little snack and then we'll move on to our second yarn craft. Right, just got myself a Diet Coke, Woody's got his snack, we're good to go for the next craft. This next one, we're going to be doing a little like ghost yarland, yarland, garland, oh my god guys, I'm losing it. So again, really simple, definitely don't need any glue for this, just some yarn and um, you can also add some wooden beads to it if you want that little bohemian standy look. You're going to want some twine if you've got it. I apologise, Woody's just going to be snacking in the background. You can also use yarn, but this is just going to be the string you're dangling across. To make your ghost, these are ones that I made earlier. You're just going to want some yarn and some black card, or if you've got some little black felt circles, you can buy those as well. So, really simple. Yarn, piece of cardboard, because it's a bit bigger than my hand, and you literally just go in to wrap it round. You want quite a strong piece, this one bends in the middle, but it's fine because I can hold it. And you're literally just going to keep wrapping it round like this. Again, this is super fast to make, guys, and really cheap and fun to do with the kid links as well and if you can hear some background noise i've had to open the window it's just getting far too warm so once you've got a good amount on your cardboard like this so quite chunky you're just going to trim the end of the yarn like that cut yourself off a little strand you want a good amount so it ties around it and then it's going to tie to your yarn so Maybe like, is that 10 centimetres maybe? We're gonna push it through and just tie it at the top of your cardboard here. I'm gonna tie it twice, just 
just to make sure it stays. I've actually probably cut that a bit short, but that's okay. And then you want to just take it off, slide it off of your cardboard like this. Make sure you don't lose your little strands. And then if you pull it tight, you're just going to trim this bottom here to cut your strands like so and then you probably will get one strand that will fall out or maybe not there we go so you've got that that strand that's fallen out you're gonna do that to tie and make the little <coughs> ghost head oh do you know what Woody likes to be in these videos and I think he's barking because he's like I want to be shown so we're just going to make a little head so I'm going to tie it there again I'm going to tie it twice just to make sure it stays and you want to tie it quite tight because you really want to emphasize that little ghosty head and then I'm just going to trim these little ends off here Try and make it the same size every single time because otherwise it might look a bit strange. But it's Halloween and I feel like anything goes at Halloween, not going to look perfect. You want your black card and I'm just going to get a bit of decoupage glue. You can use a normal PVA glue but I'm just going to use this. Peel that lid back. Woody! He's just going to keep marking. Right, and then you want to cut out some little ovals. So one bigger one and one smaller, two, uh, one bigger one and two smaller ones, because they're gonna make your little spooky face. And then I'm just gonna dip that on my glue. And pop it onto my ghost. So it's got its little mouth on it now. And I'm just going to do the same for the eyes. Again, guys, it does not have to be perfect. This is just a fun craft to do. I think I just keep saying that because I'm trying to reassure myself that it doesn't matter how it looks. And there you go. You've got a spooky little ghost in about five minutes. Really effective. So I'm gonna just make some ghosts, but you can make pumpkins as well. And then in between them, I'm just gonna have these little colors. So I'm gonna do these ones a bit thinner and it's just exactly the same what you did to make the ghost, but you're just gonna use a different colored yarn. So I'm gonna make up a few of those and then I'll come back to show you how I thread it all together. So I have made a few more. I decided to scrap the purple because I did want to be able to use this in autumn as well, not just for Halloween. So I've used this lovely rustic colour and I've made way more little bodies. And then what I've done is I've got my twine here and I'm just measuring out how I want them to look. So you can make this as long as you want. I think I'm just going to have a little one over the middle there. So I'm just going to space these out like so and I've just tied a little loop on the end so I can hook it over like a little command strip hook, uh, strip, strip hook. So I've got that and then what I'm going to do, I've got little bits of yarn everywhere from where I've been trimming it and um, I'm going to use these little wooden balls and I'm going to thread them along to go in between because I think that'll give it a really nice little expensive wooden macrame type effect. And then I'm just going to start by threading probably two of these to begin with. Now you don't have to have these and um, I just personally quite like the look of it. I might do three. So I've got my three little beads on there. And then I'm going to go in with my first little like rusty orange decoration and these little bits that you added on here we can just tie around this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie them all on place first and then 
afterwards once i'm happy with the placement then i'll go back and chop all these bits off because if i'm not happy with the placement i'm just going to end up using more string whereas there i can untie it and redo it make sure you obviously tie the ghost face at the front so you can see it and see what it looks like i've got that forming along there now so i'll add the rest of the beads and i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done because you don't just want to watch me threading and we've got one more craft after this one and um, so i'm going to try and do this as fast as possible for you so i'll be back once it's done so i realized i had my sunglasses on my head for the last time because i it's really sunny outside so i decided to make some of these outside so that's that one done really easy to do and again i think it looks lovely and you can make this as long or as short as you want depending on where you're gonna hang it um but i think that's really effective and i really like it quite like a scandy theme okay guys so we're gonna move on with the next craft which is our ghost and um, so for this you are going to want an empty plastic bottle and like a little ping pong ball or something that's like round that can sit on the bottle uh, you're just going to want some little wooden skewers because we're just going to stick those into the bottle to make the arms you're going to want some scissors some cheesecloth now if you don't know what this is um it's basically just like a muslin quite thin material i picked this up from amazon and um, along with some fabric stiffener these were both in my amazon hobbycraft call um, and then you're also just going to want like black sharpie or black cardigan to put on the features once we're done. Yeah, and then you're also going to want a bowl um, so you can put your fabric stiffener in. So if I just get, I'm just going to get quite a shallow one so I can soak it in. Shut that drawer. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure that first you're going to position these into your bottles these are going to make like your little ghost arms right so i've got this little metal skewer and hopefully that's going to pierce through my bottle there we go right so now that that's through i can feed through this little stick go for that one there we go just so I've got like a nice arm shape where I can drape the material in and I'm just going to add another one onto the other side. So I'm going to make sure it's even. So I've got my little ghosty arms in my bottle there. So what guys, I am all over the place. I have been crafting for hours this morning to get some content together. And although I find it very relaxing, when you're doing bits after bits and you're trying to record, you just end up with stuff everywhere. Honestly, if you could see the kitchen island right now, it is, there's like boxes of yarn, crafting, glue guns that side. I've got Hessie in that side. I've got my washing up there. It's just everywhere. Um, but it's all just fun. And like I say, it's really nice to see everything afterwards. So I'm gonna just shake up our fabric stiffener. And what you want to do as well is measure your cheesecloth. You want enough so it's going to stand by itself. I'm going to just cut that in half. When you are buying cheesecloth, make sure you do get a big enough piece so you can cut it down to size because you can always cut smaller, but you can't just magically make fabric appear, unfortunately. So I've never used fabric stiffener before. Shake well before use. Apply either by brushing or dripping. Remove excess by pressing fabric by hand. Right, so I'm gonna take my rings off for this because I don't necessarily want fabric stiffener to go in them. I don't think that'll be quite good. And then I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need, but I think we need to soak the fabric. So I'm just gonna pour a good amount in there. I can always add a bit more. And then what I will do is actually just lay down some greaseproof paper. Because when this stands up, I don't want it to stick to the island. I always have to do these crafts as well when my boyfriend's not home because I think all the mess. <laughs> I'd give him like an aneurysm. <laughs> but I 
anyway, so we're gonna soak this fabric. I'm just gonna literally, oh my God, oh my God. That feels, that feels a bit weird, does that. It's quite, um, like stodgy. I'm just going to literally squeeze out the excess. That's actually absorbed quite a lot. Now you can wear uh, gloves for this. I'm just doing it by hand because, well, I didn't really think that far ahead to get gloves, but learn from my mistakes. So get gloves. It's not gonna ruin your hands or anything, but if you do have some like nails on, you might want to just put some gloves on instead. Now this is looking much more promising because the fabric is actually molding to how I want it to mold. So it's already looking spookier. I'm feeling more confident about this now, guys. We've got our bottle, got our little ghosty head. Now, because I want this to kind of look semi okay, I'm gonna do it so it's facing me so I can see it, but I'll twist it around because I'll obviously have to shape the back as well. So I'm just going to try and open it all out so I can have the middle of it over that ball and just stretch it a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna lay that over. I'm trying to do it without knocking the ball off. Now you could glue the ball on and then you don't have to worry about it, but if you don't have any glue gun or anything. Now, cause this is gonna be a freestanding ghost, you do need to make sure that you've got enough fabric to cover all the ends like that. Just spin it round so I can see what the back looks like. The back, I mean, is it looking like a ghost or is it looking like an angel? I don't really know at this point. I think it would work better if we had a bigger ball on top there, but I only have this ping pong ball. So I'm just working with what I've got. In fact, thinking on the spot here, guys. Get some foil. And then I can make a much bigger ball, can't I? Right, quickly lift that. Again, this is what crafting is all about. We're just improvising on the spot here. And then hopefully that'll stay. Put that back over, see how that looks. Just need a little bit more. I might have cut the fabric a bit too short. Didn't listen to my own advice. So I'm gonna leave that to dry and then I will come back once it has dried. But this is what it's looking like at the moment. Nothing too exciting, but hopefully you can start seeing like the vision for it. Right guys, so I've had a tidy up. The washing machine is on. So if you can hear that, I do apologize, but this is just gonna be a quick clip. What I've done is I've just cut out some little black ovals from some black card and you only need them for the eyes. You can put a mouth on if you want, but I think it looks really effective just as the eyes. So I'm gonna just glue those on. I've got my Perfect. So there we've got our little standalone Halloween ghost. So I'll just quickly do the eyes on this one as well. And there you have it. Beautiful little Halloween ghost made from a bit of cheesecloth, fabric stiffener and card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along and making these crafts with me. I hope that you're gonna enjoy making them as well. And comment down below if you've made it this far in the video, the little ghost emoji, um, and I'll see you at my next one. Bye.